Make a document, post or carousel or slideshow for your LinkedIn profile and account. Document posts are a fantastic way to get more engagement and share a message on LinkedIn in a way that attracts someone's attention. Um, but there's definitely ways to do it and ways not to do it. So I'm going to walk you through how to create a document post that is going to catch someone's attention. They're going to actually click through and read it. Um, and every time someone clicks on your document, if you have multiple pages, each time they click, that's counted as an engagement by the LinkedIn algorithm. That's why document posts are such a great tool to use. Now, one thing I will say is with, when I work with clients, you want to mix up the kind of content that you share on LinkedIn. There's no doubt in my mind that text only posts still get most engagement on LinkedIn, but I like to add in a mixture of content to keep it interesting. And when you do a document post, using bright colors will attract someone's attention to go and look at it. So without further ado, let's go into Canva, one of my favorite tools um, for creating content online. I do have a paid account. You don't need to have a paid account. You can do this on a free account, um, but there will be some bits that I use in it that might um, involve using pay or premium features, including the background remover. So when that happens, I'll let you know that this is a premium feature, but you can absolutely make one of these yourself on the free version of Canva. Okay, so we're in Canva and I'm going to go and create my document post. <laughs> So I'm going to click on, let's just use a template. This is the easiest way to do it. And we'll go and find slides. Okay, presentations, there we go. It's perfect. We'll click on, one, one time at a conference I was at, someone said to me, well, someone said to me, the speaker on stage said, they were a graphic design expert and they said, why would you try and create something yourself? if you are not a graphics expert, um, whenever you have, you have all of these professionally designed templates right here. So choose one that actually looks like it would appeal to your target market. Um, and I like ones that are bright colors. There's online marketing, sounds like a good one to start with, doesn't it? If you hold your um, mouse over it, you can see what actually is in the templates. So let's have a look at another one. Let's have a look at this one here and see which one really appeals more to you. So I will find one that's going to work for us. Let's see. I chose this one that says empowering remote teams. And basically what you want to do is just change some of the images and some of the fonts to fit you. So for example, if I want to say, and um, how to create document posts for LinkedIn. And maybe put the LinkedIn. So it was um, white, isn't it? How to create document posts for LinkedIn. So put that one to white. Okay, that's great. And um, mini tutorial. There we go. And I want to make that slightly bigger because when you're looking at this on LinkedIn, it's going to be um, harder to see on screen than it is right now. It's not going to be the, see, the size that we are looking at on the screen now. So be aware of that and make sure that your fonts are going to be readable on the screen. So let's see what's the next slide. Um, okay, so then we just change all the text. Number first step or step one. Okay, use Canva <laughs> or other slideshow software. Okay, I don't want this to be underlined. So just select it all, go to the three little dots here and click underline. Okay. Um, EG PowerPoint, Google Slides, because you can use those as well quite easily. And let's take that little image out. And what I want to do is go over here and go to the elements and maybe pick on slide show and see what comes up in here. Um, okay, this, this is quite nice. Let's pick this one and pull it up so it's not overlying our images and then just change it so that it's white. Personally, I think that looks a bit more appealing. 
scroll down. Okay, number one, set one. Use Canva or other slideshow software. Okay, step two. So we're just changing all this text. Step two. Um, create slides with large text that can be easily read. <laughs> Check this out because that's a small text and it's not easily read. Then I want to go in here and I want to change the images. So let's go and look for um, a large text. Let's see. Um, woman at laptop movie. Let's have a look for that. And here we go. There's a nice lady, a laptop. Let's put her in the picture instead. Oops. Just move her down here. Uh, quite like that little thing there. Step two. Get large. And I don't want this. Uh, oops. Now, you see how Canva is letting me make sure that that all sits in the right place. It's, you know, it's um, making sure that it is even and, and fits in with so the image and the text sit um, in, a, in a nice fashion together. Step two, create slides with large text that can be easily read. Um, okay, step three. And let's take out the, te the underlining <laughs> at the start. <laughs> create, um, use your document. Okay, share content of that hmm. your readers want to read. Okay. So you get the idea and I'll just finish off the slides here and back in a sec. Okay, so here is the finished <laughs> document post that I have created. If this sounds like a complete torture for you, then absolutely consider um, hiring someone to help you with creating these images, you know, a virtual assistant or somebody like that. Um, if you don't have a virtual assistant or you don't know what a virtual assistant is or does, reach out because I have plenty uh, in my network who can absolutely help you with this work. Um, so how to create document posts for LinkedIn. Let's check our slides. Um, use Canva or other slideshow, nope, slideshow software. Create slides with large text that can be easily read. Offer value to your reader. So think about what do people want to know about what it is that you do? What are the questions you get asked about your products or services and make slides that answer these? Um, think about questions that can help your viewer um, to get more engagement. So in other words, ask your viewers questions that they can then come back to you with their answers and they leave comments below your slides, which will help you with your engagement. Um, end with a call to action and there, this is mine. <laughs> Do you want to know more about creating content for LinkedIn? Reach out to me because this is exactly what me and my team do. We help people with um, writing posts and creating content for their LinkedIn, for their company pages and their personal profiles. If that's something you'd be interested in. Go to louisebrogan.com forward slash work with me. So what do we do now with our slides? So let's move this little camera down here. So first of all, I'm going to give it a name for right here and um, document post for LinkedIn. And then I probably put a date on it because, um, you know, you're supposed to name your files properly so that you actually know where they are. Um, and in fact, even better, somebody would be what, looking in horror of this. It should be really um, 07, 21 at the start. So it's um, by date at the start if you need your file systems. That's another video we could do for another day. Uh, and then what we're going to do is click on here and we're going to download it. So I'm not going to share it anywhere at the minute. I'm going to just download it. And then the next step is we're going to go to LinkedIn and we're going to create a document post. So we've created our image. Perfect. So let's go to LinkedIn. So here we are. Switched over to LinkedIn. This is the news feed here and go to start a post. So click on start a post. So this is where to add a document, you need to click start a post first. And then you go down here and it says add a document. So let's find our document. So choose file. Oh yay, I named it so nicely 0721. Should be nice and easy to find. 
there it is. Because actually, if I typed in document post, it might be harder to find. So I'm going to open and it said add a descriptive title to your document. How to make document or slash uh, carousel posts for LinkedIn. Make sure no spelling mistakes. Okay, all right, that looks great. Now, people can download these documents, which is brilliant. So you can download somebody else's document. Um, how they do that is they click on your document and in the bottom right hand corner, there's like a little rectangle and you click on that, that opens the whole thing. And then the top right hand corner, it will say download. So you can download it, print it off, whatever it is that you want to do with it. Um, click done. So it says, what do you want to talk about? Okay, so I am creating a video today for my YouTube channel about how to create a document post for LinkedIn. Have you uploaded any documents or carousel posts for your um, as part of your LinkedIn strategy. Okay, let me write this properly. One sec, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so despite the fact that I do generally tend to write my LinkedIn posts off the top of my head, I thought I should spend a little bit more time on this one, um, considering I'm putting it out here on the channel for you guys to see. So I'm creating a video today for my YouTube channel about how to create a document post for LinkedIn. Question, always ask questions to engage your audience. Have you uploaded any documents or carousel posts a part of your LinkedIn content strategy? Do you know how to make one? In the doc below, I share some top tips to get more engagement and get more value, value for your readers who look at the post you are sharing. Let me know in the comments, have you used this type of content on LinkedIn? Did you get good engagement? What would you do differently? Add your suggestions. And I've put in three hashtags, LinkedIn, social media, content strategy, because I probably should put marketing. And then there's our lovely, lovely post. And look, you can just check, double check that's all sitting nicely. There we go. Love it. Looks good. And we're ready to go. So create the post, post it. And this is what it looks like now on my LinkedIn um, newsfeed for other people. Little tip here is when you write enough in your post, so you don't want to create this document post and then just upload it as is because you want to say to people why you're sharing it and you want to try and invite people to um, comment on it and, and leave their feedback. And um, that's, you know, we put posts on LinkedIn in order to start conversations with our network. I also want, would love you to be um, thinking of coming from a place of service or value. How can you help the people who are following you? What is it you're an expert in? What do you coach or consult people on? And can you share tips and advice to your network? Um, who you are connected to for those very reasons um, and you will start to really grow your engagement and following on LinkedIn. So here we go, we're all done um, and if you are watching this um, video in July or August 2021 you'll be able to go and see that post and <laughs> leave your own comments on it. All right so let me know in the comments below have you, this is a bit meta, have you tried this type of post on LinkedIn? What do you think about it? Um, what else would you like me to teach you here on the YouTube channel, LinkedIn with Louise? I'd love to hear because again, the purpose of this channel is to help you to raise your visibility and profile on LinkedIn and get more customers and clients. Um, please hit subscribe so you don't miss any of the future coming videos. And uh, yeah, get in touch, make sure we are connected on LinkedIn.